Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderman's Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderman's Fishing Tips. We've got the boatless angler with us today, but you're not boatless today. Uh, we're out here on Lake Ontario. We are going to flatline troll just along the shoreline here. Right now we're in 30 feet of water and then it drops into 40 and there's like a hole here and it comes back up to 20. So we're just gonna flatline troll. I've got the American smelt here. I'm gonna go with the gold because the water is just slightly murky. And basically, I'm gonna troll along at, we're only going one, one and a half, there's two. I, I, like to, I like to stay around three mile an hour if I can. So we're just coming off that break at 30 feet. We're getting into that, we're gonna get into that 40 foot zone. I'm gonna let out about 120 feet of line. I'm running a straight floor carbon line today. What about you, Antonio? Straight fluoro. Straight fluoro. So we're both running straight fluoro. And this is how I like to flatline troll is make myself comfortable. Hold the rod and the fishing, uh, hold the fishing rod in the hand. Make myself comfortable, keep an eye on the graph. Feel that rod tip vibrating a bit. Keep my eye on the speed. So right now it's two mile an hour. And I will vary the speeds. I will, I'll go between two and a half to three and then maybe up to three and a half and then back down again, just to kind of get that lure changing up the speed a bit, eh? Mm -hmm. And the other thing you could do, what I like to do too, as I'm trolling like this, I'll take my rod and I'll just pump it. So I'll just pump, 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 and then I'll relax a bit. Pump, 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 relax a bit, and then let it run. So sometimes if there's a, if there's a, a fish following it, he'll see that darting and then he'll, he'll, he'll hesitate and then he'll hit. So sometimes that triggers bites. So we're in 40 feet right now. We just come off that break. Let's see if we can get ourselves into a nice fish. Stay tuned, folks. Wow, what was that? I have no idea. We, something just came barreling out of the water. Like, he's peeling. Big, big time. He's peeling. You got a salmon. Oh, he's at the surface again. You, you got a salmon, Antonio. You gotta have a salmon. Wow. That's what we were looking for today, folks. That's what we wanted. Let's hope it is true. I need now, to gain some line. Now, I will say, he just came out. We did the hole. We marked some fish in the hole. We came out of the hole, and that's where he was. He's coming towards us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a battle. They go left, they go right, they swim towards the boat, they go away from the boat. Now, you don't have a lot of line on that spool, eh? No, but I gained a bunch, which okay. is nice. Well, you let me know, because if we have to chase him, we'll chase him. Oh, he's peeling now. Oh, yeah. Should I, should I be chasing or what? No, I think we're good. So. Okay, all right, you let me know. Yeah. This is great. Unbelievable. Wow. That's what I call a relaxing troll. Okay? Just yeah. When he hit, he came right up. Yeah, and literally what? The camera's been off for 10 minutes? I would not we just, even. We just did that hole. We just come down in the 30s and the 40s, came back up into the 30s, and whack. But we're definitely going to go back into that hole again and do another, another troll back in there again. Niagara the Lake, you gotta love that. <laughs> eh? Yeah. It actually is a nice place to visit too, but I like I like it more on the waterfront. <laughs> you like this view better, right? I, I, I like this view much better. Ah. So again, we have our challenge with our little net, but hey, that's part of it, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to land them by hand? No, no, he's uh, the net. He's all right. If we get them in head first, it's never a, never a problem. Well, sometimes the hooks get caught, right? That's true, the... true enough, yeah. Oh, there he is on oh, the top. Oh, he's on top of the water there, okay. Oh, he's all silver, it's a beauty. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful salmon. Looks like he's all wrapped up. You got them all wrapped up in your line? Yeah, he did some barrel rolls when I hooked them. Oh, they go crazy. What color American smelt you got? Purple, silver. Silver, purple, eh? yeah, nice color, yeah. Picks up the sun nicely. A lot of boats out today. A lot of boats out today. One, two, three swimming by us right now. 
crazy sideways over here. <laughs> fun, eh? Yeah. They are so fun to catch. Left, right. Okay, there he is. Oh, nice fish. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a nice king, Antonio. Nice king. You got one hook in him or two? I didn't know. I didn't I quite notice. Don't know. Oh, just another jump. Look like a shark there for a minute. <laughs> salmon are not afraid to bite in the bright light here. It's a bright sunny day. One o'clock in the afternoon. We just start fishing and boom. Oh yeah, that's Good a one. beauty. Antonio, you got yourself a nice king. Thanks. Small net, but no problem, right? And this is all you want to lift them up. If you go to lift a big fish up like this, especially with these aluminum handles, you'll you'll bend the handle. So just lift them up like that. Look at that. That's a chunk. Good one. Holy beautiful Lake Ontario salmon right there. Nice silvery color. It's nice to catch them in the spring, eh? Oh, beautiful in the spring. Okay, you're gonna want a photo of that, aren't you? Yes. I think you do. Wow. Okay, let's get them off. We'll get you the pliers and we'll snap a photo for you. Very nice, Antonio. Let's grab a photo for you. That's a beauty. Smile. Perfect photo. Big fish. Nice Gorgeous fish. fish. Dinner fish. Yep. Okay, in the box he goes. We are going to make another troll right back over top of that hole and back over top again. Let's see if we can get into some more fish. Beautiful. In the box he goes. Open it for me. Yeah. Then? Oh, you want? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would help. Nice. Wow. <laughs> nice. Did you see that? Yep. Oh my goodness. You want to see someone? That salmon came barreling out of the water like there was no tomorrow. Oh. Another job. <laughs> Looked like a like a tarpon coming out of the water. But the first one was spectacular. Just spectacular. Nice fish. Now, I got a little more line than you. I hopefully, you almost got spooled on yours, eh? I really did, yeah. It was down to a foot left. Wow. This is unbelievable fishing. Lake Ontario, salmon fishing. How long have we been fishing? Seriously. I don't know, a half hour, maybe? half hour at the most this is unbelievable oh boy oh boy now we are using the deep dive we're, we're flatline trolling with the deep dive American smelt which will dive 20 plus feet the shallow dive if you're running down riggers you can run the shallow dive because that only dives two feet This is going to be a battle. I know it already. Oh, I'm not going to say we have to chase them, at least not yet. I still have a lot of line on here. Good thing you got to have a full spool of line. I got a good full spool of line here. Wow, are they ever strong. I love those. Oh, here he comes towards the boat. Crank, 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 crank. Crank. Oh, that's when you need a good high speed retrieve. You know, when they talk about 5.2 to 1 or 6.2 to 1, 6.2 to 1 is a high speed retrieve. And they come in handy when you're fishing for salmon when you got to take up slack line. That's for sure. This one, unfortunately, is not a high speed retrieve. <laughs> Uh-oh, watch the motor. Watch going left the motor. or right? Well, <laughs> you know, they go where they want to go, Antonio. Oh, it's a beauty. Nice fish. Oh, yeah, it's a beauty. Oh, he's hooked right in the side of the mouth. Actually, both hooks. The second treble is has got them, too. So, hopefully between the two, we should be able to land this fish. 
looked like the back hook was right in the side of the mouth. So you hooked him good then? I think he's hooked good, yeah. Doesn't mean we're gonna land them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are beautiful. These salmon are just gorgeous. Okay, so I'm not sure. We ran out of we ran out of uh, space on our card there. So I don't know how much uh, of this you saw earlier, but we did weigh this fish, right? What yep. was it? Seven. Seventeen pounds. Seventeen pounds. So he came in at seventeen pounds. So you were close with your guess, right, Antonio? Good fish. Beautiful fish. And lucky we had another card we could put in there. So that we could finish. Okay. But you know what, folks? I got to tell you. We are having a riot out here and we've just begun. 30 minutes of fishing. Two beautiful kings on already. Beautiful sunny day. The weather's nice. It's calm. Like, Perfect. It doesn't get better. Not really. Can't ask for <laughs> any more than this. So here's the thing. If you haven't been out lately, get on out there and get a line wet. Have some fun. We're having a riot out here, and I am very glad that you joined us today. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Glad they had that extra card. Okay, let's get back at it.